When I was young, they had catering facilities. Cooking at schools really inspired me to enjoy cooking, not to be a chef, but to enjoy cooking. And it's all gone, it's been ripped out. It's, it's disastrous. When I first went into schools, I realised suddenly I had to take equipment with me. Cookers, bowls, whisks, everything. Would you like to sign it? Yes, yeah, certainly. I'm here to meet David. Peter, great to see you again. Hello, David. I know you're going to do some cooking with the children today, but would you like to see the vegetables in the garden Love first? To. So I've been to the school before cooking, David, but this time I've, I've not actually been to the school garden. Well, you've got a treat in store. They, they, they really have worked hard on this garden, the children. Great. And I hope that there are a few vegetables that we can well, make Well, that's the idea. Of. We're going to take this and get them in there cooking with it. They'll love it. Although we're in a rural area, we have uh, quite a lot of our children who come from large housing estates in the two villages and in the towns around. One or two farmers' children who obviously know a bit more about where food, their food comes from. But the vast majority regard food as something that you buy in a supermarket. Oh, my goodness, they're fantastic. Right, OK, Mrs Taylor wants all of them. We built the school three years ago and one of the things I really wanted was for the children to have a garden that they could sit in when they wanted to sit quietly and reflect on whatever, or talk to their friends and also for them to learn where vegetables came from. The school garden evolved and the children now take part, actively take part in growing vegetables which then go into the kitchen. And yes, I think we do make a difference. Obviously we can't supply the whole kitchen every single day, but we do our best. A nice big courgette. It's nice having Peter Vaughan coming in because he's a local cook and the children know him in the town as well as in the school. He's been in several times, so they feel quite confident when he's in here. And Peter's passion for food, I think, reflects on the children. That's absolutely delicious. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. We've got another big one here. OK, well, um, let's have that then. Why not, eh? We've got a lot of people to feed. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Real juicy gems of corn in there. We're going to roast that onto some bread. Be absolutely delicious. Mm. Mm, if we can come this way, please. I wasn't quite sure what sort of produce um, would be available there, but the idea was to do a soup from what was available completely. And when the kids started bringing me garlic, onions, courgettes, or the sort of courgette marrows. And then the yeah. corn appeared and green tomatoes. They had these tomatoes that weren't ripening, green tomatoes, slightly sour. And I thought, why can't they go into the soup? And slowly it was sort of with the children building up how we're going to put this together. Put that down there, that looks beautiful. Gosh, well, what a display. Right, class five, uh, we're very lucky because we've got Chef Pete here with us today and we're going to be doing some cooking. So I'll hand over to Chef Pete, he's going to tell us what we're going to be doing. Look at the lovely things you've got in your hands, yeah? They're all from your garden. So how does um, a vegetable soup yeah. with homemade bread sound? Fine. Yeah. Simple, yeah. delicious? Yeah. OK, well, I think we should get to work then, don't you? Yep. Yeah. Good, yeah. you take a little... Little bit of that on your hand, okay? Pass it on, and then when you've got some, rub your hand and take a piece of paper and pass that on. Some schools I've had, it's not possible to take them to the toilet to clean the hands, so antiseptic gel is fantastic. The environmental health absolutely love antiseptic gel. Put it on your hand, pass it on, paper towel, pass it on, everybody's clean. Apron, if if possible, but, but fantastic because it gets them in the mind frame then. How about letting the girls do the bread and the boys do the soup? Yeah. We split the um, group into two, so there are two tables, and that's really important because, first of all, I can leave the teacher or the teaching assistant to do one of the tables where there's not really any cutting skills because that's really something that an adult that's confident should do. The other table is doing bread. You've got to pick the corn off like so. Yeah, comes off very easily. Some of you have got to pound the lovely rosemary. I always carry a bit of rosemary in my pocket there. Smell that. That smells nice. 
Mm. Yeah. So I want the corn mixed with the rosemary and smashed up, yeah? And Mrs Wood, you can help make the dough. This is very simple because this is going to be a soda bread, an Irish bread. You take equal quantities of self-raising flour and a nice good wholemeal flour, OK? And to that, you're going to need to add some bicarbonate of soda. About a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda or baking powder, yeah? Either of them work. To that, I would like you to add four eggs, a good handful of porridge oats, a good pinch of salt, and then one of you mix it and one of you add some milk. I think that's enough to keep you going for a bit, isn't it? Yeah. And I'll come back to you in about five or ten minutes. Okay. Good luck, chefs. Well done. Yeah. Right then, boys, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's get going. So, Courgette boys, over here, you're going to be in charge of prepping up. Parsnip boys, yeah, parsnip Pete, parsnip Paul. And um, onions, some cracking onions from the garden, yeah, the three of you on that. Now, we're going to be using knives, so we've got to be very sensible with it, yeah? Some great tips for knife use. The first one, paper towel under the board. Absolutely essential, because the board doesn't move anywhere. Always cut on the flat side of the vegetable. Cut down. Good. Again. Excellent. Right, now, where's the flat side on there? Brilliant. Onions, exactly the same. So what I want you to do is I want you to cut your vegetables into manageable chunks, yeah? So you've got to cut it sort of here and you've got to cut it there. You need to cut yours there, yeah? And get them all onto the flat sides. And now all you've got to do is cut the outside away. It's exactly the same for you guys. Nice and finely cut the outside. Perfect. Perfect. Right, guys, onions are slightly different because what we've got to do is we've got to peel them now. So when you get that outside and just peel that bit off. I want all the trimmings in this bowl. Don't you think it'd be a great idea for our soup to have a little bit of chilli in as well? Chilli! Yeah. Yeah. OK, now rub chilli on the board, put your finger to your mouth and you wait. And it'll tell you how hot the chilli is. Yeah? Rub that board. Make sure you wash your finger afterwards, though. Yeah. It's quite lively, isn't it? Right, so get, get chopping there, guys. You see, the soup's cooking, yeah? But it will cook quicker when there's water in there. Really mm, hot. No, I want that. Oh, in is here. it? Is is it? Yeah. Right, OK, so when you're ready, I'd like the courgettes bringing over, please, and the parsnips. They're all going to go into the pan with the onions. Now, having the cooking pot with the stove visible to the children um, is uh, absolutely essential. There are risks elements about it that you have to take in mind and to teach them to respect the hot pot and, and the heat. But it's all visual. Go on, if you go. What is it? It's called a nutmeg. Yeah. OK, nice bit of apple. Apple is sweet in the chilli, yeah, so it won't be too powerful. Right, so what we're going to do now, guys, is soup has got to be liquid, hasn't it, yeah? So we've got to add the liquid, just water here. Not too much, because we want a nice thick soup, don't we? Yeah. yeah. We're going to put the heat on, put a lid on there. OK, and look here, guys, look at these secret herbs, eh? I don't go anywhere without some of this. Give it a little stir, put the lid on, stay away from the pan, seven minutes. Magic. Soda bread, the Irish way of making soda bread, is perfect for a school because for young children they want it instant, they want it done, and it doesn't require any raising uh, fermentation time. Need more milk, Plenty more, Mrs. Wood. Pour it in. There we go. Is that, is that Keep enough? going a little bit more. Like making cement, this is, guys. Yes, there we go. I'm quite a keen gardener myself. Wow. So I brought you some nice cherry tomatoes and My a pepper. My goodness. And Jasmine had to carry this little onion. I try and grow vegetables to exhibit in the village uh, vegetable show. 
Um, so I thought it might be a nice idea to, to bring in my star exhibit this year, which was a four pound onion, um, and see what Peter could do with that. Right, guys, we've got to get doing with this big giant onion, yeah? We've got the beautiful yeah. bread. It needs to be baked or else it won't be ready. And I think what would be really nice is to make giant onion rings, like something out of a fairy tale. Some of the group were sort of rolling the dough onto the tray. We did it quite thin, so it bakes in, like, 17 minutes. And then the children can add to it whatever they like. Spread it on top. OK. Girls, once that is spread, OK? Really spread it on there. Onion rings, Slimy nicely slimy. placed. Lovely. And don't run doing anything. They're running. Right. Well, look, welcome. You can smell it, can't you? Yeah? yeah. We've got Roud Primary School soup made with all the ingredients from your school and some bread with a very special ingredient. You can breed a bread carrier. So take a basket. People can have as much as they like. There's more coming. The soup had a, a sort of, I'd call it a funny colour. My chef friends would take the mickey out of the colour of the soup, but it was a completely natural colour. And it was made out of the vegetables that they had grown. And to sit down to a bowl of that and not actually be off-put by this funny sort of beigey grey colour, but actually taste the wonderful flavour from all those vegetables intermingling was truly spectacular for them. It may not look that nice, but it's really nice. It's lovely. It's lovely. Yeah. Especially yeah. with her friend. It's definitely one that I've never sort of tried before, so it's rather new and it's different, but in a good way. I don't usually like onion, but um, this onion's actually really nice in the bread. When I saw the onion, I was like amazed because I'd never seen anything at least ten times the size of it would usually be, and yeah, it was shocking. I couldn't believe it. It reminded me very much of some really good Thai cooking, and I, in fact, I asked a couple of children if, if they'd actually tried Thai cooking before and one girl said to me, yeah, it's, it tasted like a red curry that I once had at a Thai restaurant, which I thought was a, you know, a big compliment to the chef. It's very good, isn't it? The bread was super as well. And the mix of colours on the top with the white of the onion and the red of the tomato and the yellow of the sweet corn made it, it, it looked almost like a work of art. Thank you very much, this is my onion on the top and my tomatoes. Every bowl was emptied. They came back for more and then they came back for more, to the point where they came back four times. Fresh At the end of the day, I, I couldn't believe that that was, you know, the, the same things that we were picking this morning could be transformed into that in such a short space of time. The children have got a tremendous amount. They're so proud of what they achieved. I think that Peter has done a fantastic job with that strange combination of vegetables we gave him this morning, and that um, we ought to show our appreciation for all that he's done for us today in the usual way. So we give him a big clap. Thank you very much. Hey! To uh, execute the objective, well i.e. to make the soup, to make the bread, to serve it, make sure the customers are happy, it was a job well done. It was what Gordon Ramsay would call a good service. Mm -hmm.